Donald Sutherland is a renowned Canadian actor whose illustrious career has spanned several decades, captivating audiences with his remarkable performances. He also has a notable passion for cars, particularly his love for the iconic Italian brand Ferrari. In this video, we'll take a look at his passion for these automobiles as well as some other notable aspects of his life and career. Join Facts First as we present, at 87 years old, this is the car Donald Sutherland drives. He loves Ferraris. Sutherland's love affair with Ferraris began in the 60s, when he first set his eyes on the elegant and powerful vehicles. In 1987, he gave an interview where a journalist went with him to the Ferrari factory, located in Maranello, Italy. At that point, Sutherland was already a Ferrari fan, and to him, a trip to the factory made him feel like a kid in a candy shop. According to Sutherland, he bought his first one in Bologna in 1968. He had just started making good money from acting and wanted to splurge on a nice car, so he bought a red 275 GTB4 from a local dealer. Sadly, the car broke down only two days after he bought it. At that point, he'd been cruising around in the former Yugoslavia. Fortunately, he was able to find a local repair person who could get it driving again. Sutherland said he eventually just had it shipped to America so he could keep it there. Oddly enough, he had to get rid of it because of a divorce, not because his ex-wife wanted the car, but because she left him with their two children, and the tiny Ferrari wasn't big enough for the three of them to drive around in. Though it should be noted that at 6'4", Sutherland doesn't fit well into many models of Ferraris, but that didn't stop him, on that visit to Maranello, from trying to sit in all the models they had available, and to test drive a couple around the racetrack they had set up. But on that day, despite falling in love with a red GTO in the lobby of the factory, Sutherland didn't buy anything. But in the years since, he's amassed an impressive collection of these luxury automobiles. His collection reportedly includes various models, ranging from classic vintage Ferraris to modern masterpieces. One of the most notable ones he owns is the iconic 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, widely regarded as one of the most coveted and valuable cars in the world. His passion for Ferraris goes beyond mere ownership. He's been actively involved in Ferrari-related events and activities. He's participated in prestigious car rallies and exhibitions, showcasing his prized vehicles and sharing his enthusiasm with fellow car lovers. His dedication to the brand and extensive knowledge of its history and legacy have earned him respect in the automotive community. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers boxes of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month, they introduce members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters, based on a preference quiz that you fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, and it only costs you a fraction of the value. You can even preview your box before it's shipped. Each month, you'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, at which point you can decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. The first box I received was the Destination Box, which comes with the Garment Duffel from Half Day. It's my go-to travel bag because it can fit a suit, dress shirts, and shoes, plus some casual clothes, neatly and compactly. My second box was the Swivel Box, which comes with the Revolve Tray and a Tigerwood Rollerball Pen. The moment I received this box, I was able to declutter my desk by neatly organizing cables, pens, and other items. And the Tigerwood Rollerball Pen was a fun addition that feels really nice to write with and looks super elegant. Both of these boxes of awesome were truly a great value and now I use these items all the time. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter FAXVERSE20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash FAXVERSE20. Other Cars He Loves in that 1987 interview, Sutherland expressed his love for cars beyond Ferraris. He said that at that point, the car he used the most was a Mercedes 6.9. He admitted he purchased it on advice of Sidney Pollock, who advised him it was the best car in the world. Sutherland promptly bought one of the last ones they made and kept it in Canada, and he'd use it whenever he was there. His passion for cars clearly knows no borders because he also kept cars in Paris, a Benz station wagon he shipped from California, as well as in Los Angeles, a red 1975 Pontiac convertible. 
He also kept a restored Rolls-Royce 1965 Silver Cloud III to use whenever he was in England. And yet he fully admitted that despite owning these other brands, Ferrari made the best cars in the world. Of course, in the decades since, his tastes have continued to evolve and expand. For instance, a fan once posted online in 2011 about spotting Sutherland driving a Nissan GTR. The fan said they didn't have any photos, though, but because it's the internet, other fans quickly posted photos of Sutherland cruising in his Nissan GTR. So clearly, he continues to enjoy driving a variety of cars as he gets older. A minor accident. Even though Sutherland enjoys driving fast, sometimes accidents happen, even at incredibly slow speeds. In 2011, he was involved in a mall incident where he was pulling out from an alleyway and hit a biker. It happened in Santa Monica, and while paramedics were called in to make sure he was okay, it turned out she only had very minor injuries. This was likely because Sutherland was only going about one or two miles per hour at the time. The police actually looked into what happened and determined it was both his fault as well as the biker's. That's because he reportedly should have been able to hit his brakes a little quicker than he did. And the biker was at fault because she was riding on the sidewalk instead of the street. But either way, things certainly could have been a lot worse for both of them. It was lucky it happened when Sutherland was barely moving forward. Health scares. Donald has dealt with various medical challenges, but he's demonstrated resilience and perseverance in overcoming them. One significant scare occurred in 1979 when he was diagnosed with meningitis, a serious inflammation of the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. The illness was a major setback, requiring hospitalization and an extended recovery period. But he managed to make a full recovery and continued pursuing his acting career. In 2010, he underwent successful prostate cancer surgery, highlighting his proactive approach to addressing health concerns. His openness about his experience with prostate cancer has helped raise awareness and encourage others to prioritize their health through regular screenings and early detection. Despite these health challenges, Sutherland has not allowed them to hinder his professional pursuits or dampen his passion for acting. He's continued to deliver compelling performances on screen, showcasing his talent and dedication to his craft. And throughout his career, he has emphasized the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. He's been vocal about the benefits of exercise, proper nutrition, and overall well-being. His commitment to taking care of himself serves as an inspiration, illustrating the importance of prioritizing your health. His Recent Career Moves in his later years, he continues to be active in the entertainment industry, showcasing his versatility. He remains a sought-after talent, taking on a variety of roles. In recent years, he's been seen in critically acclaimed films like the Hunger Games series, where he played the enigmatic President Snow with his trademark gravitas. He's also appeared in notable movies like The Leisure Seeker and Ad Astra. On the small screen, he's delivered compelling performances in series like Dirty Sexy Money and Trust. He lent his voice to animated films like Astro Boy and Pirates Band of Misfits. He's also remained engaged in social and political causes. He's known for his activism and outspoken views on issues such as climate change and human rights. Fun Facts Let's finish off with some facts about Donald you might not know. In addition to his acting skills, Sutherland is also a talented musician. He can play several instruments, including piano, guitar, and banjo. Plus, he comes from a family with artistic inclinations. His father, Frederick Sutherland, was a renowned Canadian politician and World War I veteran, while his maternal grandfather, Tommy Douglas, was a prominent Canadian politician and the father of Canada's health care system. Sutherland has worked with many esteemed filmmakers throughout his career. He's collaborated multiple times with director Robert Altman, appearing in films like M.A.S.H., Kelly's Heroes, and A Wedding. He's also worked with renowned directors like Federico Fellini, Nicholas Rogue, and John Schlesinger. Despite his global fame, Donald Sutherland has proudly retained his Canadian citizenship throughout his life. He has often spoken fondly of his Canadian roots and has been involved in promoting Canadian arts and culture. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Donald Sutherland? What's your favorite of his roles? Let us know in the comments section below.